Hello there everybody, Silver Dragon here, back with some more Castle Story. Uh, today I'm going to do a sort of a tutorial video in a way about basically how to build castle walls correctly. Uh, in a sense, obviously, because it's been there, there are some confusions with uh, how wide you can make walls and get let them work and so on and so forth. And there are tricks to actually expand them even further than they should be able to go. But uh, I'm just going to go with some of the basics right now. I have already, as you can see, I've unlike unusual for me. I have actually started up the game prior to uh, actually streaming this or recording this, I should say. And I've already got a good stockpile of everything here ready to go to build. So we're going to go over here and we're going to start building stuff. Now generally, if you're going to make a single wall, you would just go something like this. Just build one spot like this. And then you overlap them like so. So it increases the actual strength of the wall kind of thing. This is just a typical, basic, one wide wall. Not difficult to do, not difficult to understand for that. But if you want to actually build a wall with a platform, you're going to have to do use columns basically. Uh, columns are used to put in floors and uh, make sure that everything's nice and even and such. Uh, so that you can actually get like a walkway on top of your uh, walls. If you're going to make wider walls. For a simple wall, I could extend it to right here. This would be a, uh, let me just do examples for this right now. Well, actually, I want to build these examples elsewhere because I don't really want to take up a lot of the space that we're going to be using there. So I'll build the examples right here, then, in that case, for these, just, just the basic structure. Too wide, so that there are two blocks in between them. Likewise, I could go... Generally, this is the standard you want to keep them at. You want to keep them just roughly two blocks wide. Uh, although you could, if you were going to make a shorter wall, I will show an example right here. Like so. Alright, so they will start building these, and I'll give you a general idea of how this is typically done. So when you get the, when you get these columns in place, you would right-click, uh, you would create this uh, side one here. I'm going to have to angle my camera a bit. And you would put it, like, make sure it's on the edge of this here, the top edge. And then they will build it on that at that point. Let's flip it around for here. You have to make sure it's pointing in the direction here that you need to go, otherwise it won't build properly. So these are how you do the various segments of the actual, uh, actual. I guess we'll, I guess we'll say it's a, a scaffold in a way, in order to uh, extend your, uh, there we go, they're getting that done, extend your walls. Now if you wanted like a, a good sized platform, you would have to go for something like this. Let me get columns built here again. And then you have to build like two across, like so. And right here you would have yourself one long little corridor here. This is similar to the one I'm building right here, although it is going to be slightly different. It's going to vary a little bit. Now, the difference between that one and this one, if I can get this put in place here, is that this one uses two cross braces instead of a middle piece. So it's not going to be quite as far, but it's still going to be complete and use less logs. Although really with the amount of logs we have in the game, it's really a complete option about whether or not you want to do it one way or another. So generally this is how you get the inner scaffolding and then you would build your walls just like I did Shift, uh, shift uh, left click in order to uh, destroy it if you need to. Okay, let's clear that. And then after that's done, after you've built the framework of it, at least on the first floor, uh, you would start to build this type of wall around it. Now it looks like they're all done this now. 
I don't know why he started doing that, so he's not doing the proper job I assigned him to do. So I'll have to get him to place that block down. There we go. That should allow him to go assist him with the actual placing of these uh, supports. Now as you can see, once you place the supports together, it creates this little uh, cross section here. And likewise, I could, uh, let me go over here. There we go, angle this thing properly. There we go, put these in place, like so. And that creates these little mini platforms here, which you can then fill in with the planks once they are completed. Like so. And you have yourself a nice pla nice wall platform. Then you just build the wall along the sides of it. And uh, you have yourself a completed wall. Uh, same thing for this uh, type of segment right here. Once it's actually completed, I need to have it completely... Well, there we go. Same thing right here. The only difference is we only have the single wall. We can keep it going exactly like this if we needed to. And it looks nice too to have it done this way. I wouldn't even need to complete this except for the very end. I could just keep uh, just keep keep it going, keep it going. Although there does seem to be some slight issues with trying to put them in between these guys here. If I can build two as an example, I'm not too sure if it'll do it or not. But let's take a look and give it a try. So these are examples of how to do the varying different types of uh, interiors for the walls. Afterwards, you just build the walls around it and you have yourself some nice walls. There we go. And uh, you can do various things, like I could remove this bit right here, and uh, or no, I should say I could remove this one right here, this log right here, and instead put another log like two away from here, two away from here, and have the wall go in this direction, kind of like angle it a bit. Those are the various examples of the actual scaffolding. I'm probably running out of uh, trees by now, I would say. Unless I did cut down a crap ton. I did cut down quite a few of them. But still, I am undoubtedly going to run out soon. Alright, so I'll have the Bricktron cut down a couple more trees over here. There you go, my friend. Could you cut down that tree for me? I'd very much appreciate it if you did, buddy. Thank you kindly. Uh, Alright. So when you have it like that, it allows you to floor it in and thus giving your guys a place to stand on. Now I'm going to try something a little more... Uh, a little wider as it were to build like a uh, large tower. Okay, but as I was doing with this, I believe. Yeah, you see, when it comes to these side ones, though, you can't just place this across from it. It just doesn't work. So you have to have the uh, you have to have this little bit on the edge here to go in as an in between. All right. So we're going to use this as an example then for what I'm doing for building a much wider structure. Same kind of style. And this one I'm actually going to use the brick on. If you wanted to build yourself a little tower like so. Uh, generally speaking, let me stop you. Stop this Bricktron. And uh, send him over there to your Bricktron, whatever happens to be. To uh, cut down this tree. And the one surrounding it. Just to give him some quick access to some logs. Because they're going to need it. And this one as well. Then I'll have them continue. Generally, you're going to want to expand these higher. Uh, the first two, they can do easily just by uh, placing them. 
anything higher than that, and they actually do need you to, uh, I'm going to remove this bit because I didn't angle it properly. They do need you to build a walkway up to it for them to get it done. The ones in the center are not going to be completed easily unless you actually uh, build an easy access to it. Obviously this is an issue right here because they can't actually build over to that. In which case I'd have this try and build this here. See if they will slap it down there and create that. Hopefully they will. Now, let's get the basic structure of the wall started. I just started a corner like so, typically. And go like this. As you can see, they did build that for me. So I'm going to build a... Actually, no, I can even stop with that. Build another one like so. Then flip it around. Angle it. Angle it! Now, this is a little bit of a uh, bad structural design in this corner here, uh, because the edge is, uh, as you can see, matching, and you don't want really you don't really want matching edges. That's that doesn't create strong walls. Strong walls are created from the uh, going like this, as I showed previously in that little uh, little demo area for the single single uh, tile walls. These are for the actual towered walls. Okay. and so on and so forth in this same kind of pattern there we go just keep adjusting it now they will do it in the order that you designate it so you don't have to worry about them if you do make a mistake you can shift click it or near the end of what near uh, done this you can actually just have that uh, clear their entire build order and that will get rid of it now the issue here is, once they're done a good section of this, they won't be able to do it anymore. So you, they won't, they, They'll will they need stairways to get up to the top here at this point. Because any more than too high, they're going to need a stairway. So I'm just going to create a long stairway here. Like so. Well, I'm going to eliminate this top piece here because they need to just go to this single floor here right now. And for that, they will start building a lot of this. Now, him I can assign. No, 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 no. Don't get anything done there, buddy. Damn it. Oh, that idiot. Oh, well, too late. Too late. I have to wait for these fools to get rid of their sacks before I can give them a different job because then they won't drop the sacks and they won't properly pick up things. So until my other guys manage to get rid of that, I'll have to let them be. Still, this is working out well. I'm only going to build this tower to this, this rough about height. But this is basically how you would do it. You just stare up to each new floor that you're uh, going to. And uh, then you would just build another floor into it. Now, likewise with this, it's the same thing as before. There we go. There we go. Now, if this had been a gap in the center, had there been nothing here, that would be a bit of an issue, of course, because it's it's not very easy to make supports. You have to. Pre I've tried building a, without building this kind of support in the system. It doesn't really work that well, so you kind of really do need it. Um, you could leave a small gap open. Let me show you an example just over here. Uh, let me create a new building squad. So none of this isn't actually going to be built. Um, let's just say we had that kind of platform. Let me just build a uh, build one quickly here. Oh, it's not far enough. That is a fail build.
Okay, I don't want to do it as too extravagant. Just get that built. Okay. Well, actually, I won't be able to designate the other ones. Generally speaking, once you get the uh, floor on this thing, I can't even actually remove it or undesignate that unless I clear it. Once you get the floor and everything on that, and you build the walls along the edges here, if you wanted, like, obviously you would have to continue this if you wanted to have yourself a good roof. Uh, but the, if you want to have a second floor, I mean that is, if you were just building a tower, obviously that would create some issues where you'd be like, well, I don't want to have such ugly stuff in my way here. So let me go, let's see here, exactly how much it is. Okay, so it's about four wide. So let me clear this thing entirely. Go for a new build. Okay. So... Like so. Alright, let's just say that this here is our platform. This is our actual floor, or first floor. Let me fill this in. You may need to build temporary stairways in order to get this design to work properly, depending. Alright, fill that in. Now, there was one right here, one right here, and then one in the center. So let's see. One, two. Okay, this was not put together properly. That's all right. This is just like a general example. Uh, so basically, when you get to, like I want to have a gap here, let's say of about uh, three high for my brick trons to go, to walk in here and then have start working on a second floor. So once you're that high, you would build this one up here and then put that in place as if it was the same thing. Likewise, for what would be the center, now the issue is where, how do we get to the, uh, to the central pillar here? All right. We would have to make the next floor a little bit higher, as it were, or quite a bit higher. And we have to go something along these lines to get to the center. Because it would take us, you can see that many of them to get to the center. That way, if we also add a single block right here, that's about the same as this this right, bit right here. Likewise, just repeat that for all the other corners. This one right here would just be the typical one that we already built because we already have the center piece done. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, likewise, let me get it on this side again. Whoops, okay, I had the actual, I'm not putting these in there correctly. Alright, they go near the edge. There we go. And then same thing for over here. And actually, we could remove that guy right there. And we could probably just go like this uh, on whatever side, and that would create the gap perfectly for it. Uh, but anyway, generally speaking, that's how one could do that. 
And that way we have an entire room here. We can have a door on the door out onto a wall and so on and so forth. And then still be able to make a second floor. Uh, in order to build a stairway on the inside, though, it would be a uh, cause of some slight issue. Of course, that's the outer wall right there. Let's get this into place and attempt the building of this. You can see right there, they start getting cut off and they'll be blocked. So we'd have to uh, have to move this thing forward one. Okay. It's funny just working off the blueprint. So we'll have to start that right here. All right. We're gonna build this not structurally secure, just for the heck of, just for the uh, purpose of designing it. And that would not quite bring us up to the next floor, though, because yeah, you can see it's a bit of an issue with actually designing this bit. I would have to. Let's see here, actually. I could, if only, the one thing I wish is that they make a staircase that's just the staircase and not the extra block on it, because that extra block wasn't there, I could replace it instead with this guy and then it would make it so much easier to build just arch stairs. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So this is generally how you would build yourself either a vaulted ceiling, of course, that would work as well, troll -a -lull. Or to expand your uh, uh, you up to your uh, tower up to a second floor, while still keeping the centerpiece open, because you need to get that extra support here. Now, obviously, this is not even, so you would, you should be able to uh, you know use your uh, mathematical skills or whatever and make it uh, generally even if possible, or you're designing uh, repertoire. But anyway, anyway, that is generally how you would build these walls. So uh, definitely get out there and experiment some more, figure out some epic uh, castles, because I definitely want to be looking on YouTube once for extra for uh, epic castles and castle story, and find all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, but again, thank you guys for watching. This has been uh, just basic, uh, kind of like, well, I'd say advanced uh, wall design in a way. Just uh, on how to actually uh, make these little walls and towers and so on and so forth. And it looks pretty good. Obviously we can't get this piece until we get up to that level. And then they can walk along here and start placing it down. And then the floors and so on and so forth. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little uh, wall building tutorial. And uh, yeah, I will be making more videos uh, for the game as uh, things as time goes by. Hopefully, I'll have an actual epic castle of my own to show off that I end up probably spending like nine, ten hours on because you can spend an insane amount of time building uh, castles in this game. But yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good one, and I will see you all another time. Peace out, everybody. Oh, and if you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe to the channel or uh, or yeah, the YouTube channel and like the video. I'd appreciate it. Thanks everybody.